if I could say you can, I'm going to wave a wand and you can send them out to the Jewish, the women of the Jewish nation, or, you know, you could like stand up in front of everybody. What would you say to the women or what would you like them to feel or think about this? So to be quite honest with you, my thought is that um, I almost feel like when women and we've heard some of the stories that they're being forced into a shaitel. And that, again, no knock on anyone who's doing a shaitel. But I feel like the mitbachat um, has somehow been stolen. A right that I don't even think they know they had. And a right to open a channel of brachot into the home uh, has been stolen from them. And so a lot of times, you know, there's all these women's rights movements and, and progressive women and I almost feel like the right to cover your hair is, it's, it's a phenomenal right that is being stolen and they don't even know that it's being stolen from them. Think about their, like, as far as a Jewish woman for myself, there is no greater freedom for me than to have the right to wear my mitbachat because this actually was something that was stolen from a lot of people in Russia when the Tsar came down with his um, decree and for the women of Klai Yisrael who had to hide their identity. I remember when I went to Spain and I was, um, I was in Sevilla and I literally was in a Jewish quarter and there was, a, there was a store full of scarves. And I said, I'm going to buy a scarf for all of the people, whether they were men or women, and I'm gonna wear it openly because I can. And there's no greater freedom than that. If you think about it, like, you know, the message today is that you have to be uncovered and exposed and this and that. And somehow, for whatever reason, many people see my mitbachat as a, as a sign of oppression. And I gotta tell you, I feel like you're, you're the one that's being oppressed. If that's the way you're thinking about my mitbachat, then you're the one that's oppressed, right? And you've really bought in to the stereotypes and, and really um, to what the mainstream you know, idea of beauty is. And I think that if you're really honest with yourself, you'll, you'll be speaking a different conversation internally than you are externally. To me, there is no greater freedom than this. And I think it's very liberating for a woman to say, I'm gonna stand in my truth, period, end of story.